Welcome everyone to my most anticipated games of 2020. We're starting off the decade in the right way because this year got a whole bunch of insane game releases. I mean, we're talking triple A unbelievable games like Age of Empires 4, which when I saw the trailer, it looked fucking amazing. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's basically Age of Empires on steroids. It's it's absolutely insane. And then you got other great games that are coming out like Crusader Kings 3, which was just wow, just insane. Really love that. And you got other titles like Port Royal 4 coming out. So there's a whole slew of games. But what I want to discuss in this video is my three most anticipated ones. Let's start off the count right now. So starting off with number three, it's Panzer Corps 2. I've been waiting for this game <laughs> since they first announced it. Big fan of Panzer Corps 1. And then what Panzer Corps 1 drew inspiration from, which was Panzer General back in the 90s, which again, massive fan of. Play Panzer General, Allied General, all that good stuff that was coming out in the 90s. And basically what Panzer Corps is, is just that. It's basically the games that we all fell in love with back in the 90s modern day with better graphics, much more features, much more capabilities. We're talking like many more units, like a thousand unique different units. We're talking a branching campaign that every time you play, it will be different. I mean, and then on top of that, a scenario editor. So there's going to be tons of maps, mods, counters, all that stuff. So this is a game that's from looks of it, the videos, the gameplay, the dev diaries, it's just absolutely insane. The weather system, the encirclement, spotting, all this crazy awesome stuff that they have in this game is coming out this year. And I can't wait. This is just one of those games that every time I read a dev diary, watch their gameplay videos, I'm like, how much more do I have to wait, you know? And it's projected for 2020. So cross them fingers, you know? Next up. Yeah, this game is coming out in 2020, and all I need to say is Starship Troopers strategy game. That's it, right there. As soon as you said those words, right there, that hit my top list. You know, because I've been waiting for a Starship Troopers strategy game since the first fucking movie that I saw. The other movies were, you know, I'm not a fan of, right? And all I wanted to do was basically command mobile infantry on the ground. This is what's happening in this game. Basically, you're going to be commanding either squads, companies, or battalions in this game and fending off the horde of bugs, right? And trying to win the game. And the guys that are actually setting this up is the aristocrats. These guys are known for incredible strategy games. So I am really looking forward to this. I It's in really good, capable hands. Slytherin and Matrix Games are the publisher, so that's fucking awesome. We're going to get awesome things like hero units, so there's a possibility we might see Johnny Rico in the game, so that's going to be fucking awesome. There's going to be able to do things like aerial bombardment, so that's going to be freaking awesome. And there's going to be the big thing. There's going to be a campaign mode. And where they're going to develop the storyline of Starship Troopers, which is what I wanted. I want to actually be a mobile infantry commander on the ground with the story developing around me, right? Because watching movies is great, but, you know, you kind of want to get hands-on a little bit, right? So... It's kind of like when you watch a military movie, right? Like you f first saw Navy SEALs or, you know, we were soldiers. And you're like, you know what? I want to join the Army because I want to do that, right? S same kind of thing, but, you know, a <laughs> little less obligation, right? <laughs> All right. So there's going to be persistent leaders attached to units upgraded throughout the campaign. Oh, technology tree. That's going to be fucking awesome. And the game just recently got announced. So there's going to be much more stuff that's going to be rolling out. But between the visuals... The graphics that I see in gameplay trailers, it looks astonishing just by itself right there. So I am motivated. Just when this game was announced, I was like, fuck, 2020 is going to be an insane, insane year just by this one game by itself. Now, for the cream of the crop, the game that I've been waiting for since I first heard about it, the game that is fucking keeping me up at night is Grand Tacticians, The Civil War, 1861 to 1865. It's planned for summer 2020, 
And I cannot wait for this one. This fucking game is insane. This is going to be the default, the go-to Civil War strategy game. It's going to be the best one ever made. And I'll tell you why. It's going to provide an incredible tactical component, right? You're going to basically think Scourge of War game, right? Where you're going to be able to take command of your soldiers in the field right? You're going to be able to move them, set up entrenchments. You get to reorganize commanders in the order of battle. And then they're adding on top of that a strategic component and not like a light one, a full version strategic component. So you can move your armies all throughout the map and you're going to be dealing with critical things like supply and logistics, the naval actions. You're going to be able to blockade your enemy here, it says. Supply is going to be a critical factor in the game, which I am really motivated about. You can expand railroad lines. Your commander is going to have personal attributes from what I understand is they're going to actually program commanders, right? So legendary I would say conflicts that leaders had with one another are going to be represented in the game. So if one general hated another general in the Civil War, that's going to happen in this game. So if General A is in charge of General B and he says, all right, I need you to take this ridge, General B is going to say, you know what, fuck that guy. I'll, I'll go take the ridge, but I'm going to take it on my own time, right? And you're going to notice he's not going to respond as enthusiastically on the battlefield. So that's going to be freaking incredible. And going through all the videos that they revealed, all the dev diaries, I was just astounded by how deep this game is going. Every time they release something, and look at the maps, they're absolutely gorgeous. And the one amazing thing is when you're looking at a map, you can actually zoom in from this perspective where you actually have like a paper map. And as you zoom in, it'll go into the graphical gameplay map. So you can zoom in and out. And you can do the same thing on the strategic side. And they're taking the strategic map and added that like nice old map feel to it. So they're doing things like, look at this. This is a tactical map. It's gorgeous. This is what's going to be represented on the battlefield. So it's it's amazing. And then you, of course, you could promote your commanders. That's, I think, it's going to be a huge thing. Change the order of battle. You know, things are going to be in this game. That's going to make it feel like you're actually a battlefield commander on the ground, right? And also kind of the CNC, right? The commander in chief, because you're going to be handling the economy a little bit. And from what I've read, they're not going to make you freaking go rogue nard on the economy. So you, you're not gonna have to micromanage it, you know, and you, you can kind of set up like hands off or get a little more hands on kind of thing. So this game, I'm telling you, this game is going to keep me up at night. This is a game that <laughs> there's a possibility I might lose my job because of this game. Cause I'm like call out from work. Cause I'll tell you, I just, I can't wait, man. I just can't wait. So yeah, that this is going, this is my number one most anticipated, most requested of game, period. So I'm going to keep my days and nights open come summer 2020, because when summer 2020 hits, forget about it. I'm going to lock myself in the room, put a double padded lock, make sure the power is good, get up a backup generator, all that good stuff, because you know what? That's going to stop me from playing this game. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll get you the next one. See you then.